good afternoon actually because it's just gone midday so good afternoon parents year six i know you're going to be watching this later on and welcome to your light or va so you can see we've got three team members today we've got team year seven Yay. Yay. we've got team year 10 and we've got team year 11 and we're going to be taking you around the school today okay so in our different teams we're going to go and branch out into different areas and you're going to be watching parents if you're watching now you're going to be seeing our slido any minute from now so if you go to slido.com and literally just scan the um qr code that you can see us on screen or you can go to slido.com and type in hash nine eight nine two zero five so that's hash nine eight nine two zero five Right, students, are you ready for today? Yes. yes. Okay, so team year seven is going to come with me and we're going to start off today's tour and we're going to go to? Maths. Maths. Maths, excellent. So let's go. Before we go to maths, we're going to start and go to art. Right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're just walking down the art corridor and that the art corridor has two different directions so we came from the reception and we turned left so let's go into art we're going to come back to canteen later on so yeah. how's today been what you um, have? it's been really good um we had the different lessons and i really enjoyed it because um, i had physics and i did some um, like different experiments and different stuff okay well we had so far today. Uh, so first thing this morning I had maths. I done my third week first segment and I'm really proud of myself of doing it. And then after that we had biology that I done my second week first second and I'm really proud of that as well. So you've had two assessments today? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I've had uh, my English test where we had to write a whole chunk of uh, a starting story of a gothic literature. Now assessment. And uh, the assessment, yeah, I'm proud of myself. So, um, if you're watching, for those of you watching right now, just so you know, here at BA, every week five is assessment week, and this is week five at BA. So, most of the young people, most of the class that we're going to be going to, they're going to do the assessment. But I'm really hoping that the ones that we've chosen for today are actually not doing assessment. And if they are, well, we're still going to have to have a look. Right, so you can see every department has what we call our curriculum intent. So, the curriculum intent for um, art and design. So we have a vision for a remarkable art curriculum where you would develop your own creativity and a range of artistic techniques. And then here is how that curriculum sits on our four key values. So being unusually brave, discovering what's possible, pushing the limits and being big hearted. Okay, we're going to go into art and the camera is going to come through and then Miss just Take the camera around and this is some amazing artwork. Hello. So this is one of our art classroom and every single piece of artwork that you can see right now has been done by young people here at BA. So currently there's a year eight class having art. I wonder which one is your favorite. I love them all. I don't have a favourite hair, um, but because I do like food, I, I don't know if you saw the the one with the burger. I do like that one. Okay, so this, I'm not sure if you can see the strings that connects this painting. Okay, so that's what the young people are doing, and you can see they've got the assessment. Instead of writing the learning question, we're going to be writing assessment. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to Matt. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah I'm so excited. Matt is one of my favourite um, um, topics here. Yeah? Just English. So you've done me one assessment then. Mm -hmm. Did you have to prepare for your assessment? Um, yeah, we have to prepare. Okay. Um, literature, the writing, like alliteration. It's, 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 like, it's a rectangle, yeah. yeah. However, you treat it like a circle, and what would happen is 
if you ever got lost and you started from any direction, you're always going to find yourself back here on the reception. For those of you that have had your tours already, you've heard me say that. Um, you've seen the reception area. So we're going to go now to the right of the reception and we're going to go over to Max. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead. I'm excited. Now, there's actually family um, tours as well. So we might come across a few other year six visiting. So on my right hand side is our main hall. You've got more art classrooms. It's a very big hallway. Okay, now most of our young people, what I mean is most students start here from year seven and they stay until year ten. So in our special room, so art strictly by an artist. Now they have a code. Let's just knock and see. There's always young people here because what they will do is body Hello, um, we're just here to show off your art studio. Okay. So if you're an artist and you're watching and you're joining us in BA um, in 2022 and you stayed on and did art, this is exactly where you will come and you would literally do your artwork. So Miss, just take the camera and show them the art pieces. We're going to take the camera and we're going to go. Back, this is going to be our last art one. So yeah, open the door please. So this is a year eight math lesson, I'm sorry, math art lesson. And we're going to be speaking to one of the art teachers Miss, can we talk to you outside? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, can come outside, yeah. So as I was saying, phone books, I've got pictures in there to help you with, okay? Working in silence, completing the assessment, focusing on what you looked at for the last three lessons. Hello, Miss. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello here. Um, could you just talk us through what your year eight are doing currently? Yes, of course. So, um, obviously we're in week five. Week five is assessment week across the academy. And in our year eight art lessons, we have been gearing up towards this assessment for the last four weeks. So every week they've had a different lesson based on a skill and a technique relating to a theme called Under the Sea Project. So they've been looking at using paint, using oil pastel, drawing under the sea creatures, um, using salt as well to add different textures on the top. And this is all going to come together now in their assessment. So in this week five assessment, they're going to put all of those techniques into like kind of one final piece, um, which will then be grading um, relating to uh, different assessment criteria, including the quality of the work, including the, the see if they've got correct proportions, um, looking at the presentation of their work as well. Thank you so much. Right, what a delight those young people have to go through in their lesson. Um, yeah. Sounds like they've done some amazing work. No, it's really I, fantastic. It's a really exciting lesson, actually, so it's good. All right, thank you so much, Miss. You're welcome. Okay, right. See you guys later. Bye. We're going over to Matt now. Matt, finally. So, have you had your um, Matt assessment yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've had my tour. Oh, oh yeah. No, I haven't really had today. myself as much as I did well. Okay. Because I finished um, like the Matt's um, um, work. Um, because it, it was, yeah, it was an hour long, so I finished four minutes before and I had the time to go back again and check my work. Okay, very good. Right, so um, we're here in maths, so here's our curriculum intent for maths. So just like before, um, we're saying that every single young person that comes through us needs to become that problem-solving person that has a lot of confidence in their problem-solving skills. Right, and you can see how that translates in uh, um, around our four core values. Okay, let's go into some math classrooms now. Yeah, 
Yes, yes. Okay. So this is uh yeah. Oh, so yeah, what about the parallel lines? Okay. Now if you look at the diagram, it's still not there. Look at the diagram. Yeah. So can you identify two pairs of parallel lines? Yeah. So so now my question to you is is a rhombus a parallelogram? Okay, so guys, obviously we had to be really quiet because they were doing some work in there. Um, so that's what a typical maths lesson or classroom would look like. And they're doing a review of their checkout. So at the end of every lesson, um, our young students will complete a checkout activity and they will have five minutes to go through the activity. And Miss is just simply addressing misconceptions that she's found from that checkout activity. Okay, so let's go into another maths classroom. It's a very long corridor. It is a big school. Yeah. So here's another math classroom. But, okay. So this is a year nine math class. Okay, so they had the assessments as well. Now, we've come to the end of our tour. We're now going to be passing it over to Team Year 11. Team Year 11, over to you. Good afternoon, Year 6, and you join myself, Anantella, in the English corridor. As you can see, um, we, we like to celebrate our four key values. Here we have Be Unusually Brave, and through English, you'll be unusually brave by exploring new texts and including a range of stories, poems and plays, as well as non-fiction texts. You will discover what's possible. You will learn to understand and love the power of language and use it to express yourself confidently. You also push the limits while you explore the power of language and literature and you will become language rich and be able to strive to achieve your maximum potential. And you'll be big hearted. You will learn to be inclusive and empathetic through the study of English you'll be exposed to the triumphs and struggles of people around the world. Uh, now we are about to go into a English classroom. Let's just see if Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What have you been having? Welcome, so we've got 10Y1. Okay, can you continue your point? So, uh, so Sheila is like very protected and very privileged. Ava is more so like thrown in the dust almost. She's not very cared for by society. Very good. And Ria, can you talk to me about ignorance? Um, my parents are very sweet. So, um, this may be a little bit unfair. If you're ignorant, it might be because um, you don't know, you're not knowledgeable. Someone who said, what pandemic? What's a pandemic? That will be ignorance because they're just not reading or thinking like the world around them. So who do we think is going to be quite like ignorant in the play? Think 30 seconds by yourself and you want to call on people. Who do we think has so far shown themselves to be ignorant? Sheila and Mr. Who so far has shown themselves to be ignorant? As you can see, that was a year 10 class uh, studying in Inspector Calls, one of the many texts you will study uh, at your time here at the day. So if you just have to follow me down this corridor, there are some classes currently during lesson, so we'll try and keep it quiet. But um, I'm in year 11, I have been doing English here for five years. Uh, I have studied a range of different texts from Inspector Calls to later on in uh, the curriculum, we're doing Shakespeare and poetry. Um, what do you think, Antella? Yeah, I think it was great. We've also done the Christmas carols, that was interesting. Um, it's really interesting to get an insight of other characters and what they might be feeling. Good, so as we carry on down here, we have a very large English curriculum. Um, lots of different classrooms, lots of different teachers, because English is a core subject at any school. Um, we have all different classrooms, I think we're going to 
make our way down to a very special teacher, Mr. Hill, who is in C115, I believe. Yep. Okay, right. Yeah, uh, so while Mr. Hill is currently uh, going over his um, uh, going over his class and going over his thing, uh, we'll just talk more about the core values. If you'd like to just follow me over here. Um, I know we've gone over this before, but um, so pushing the limits, uh, not only will you be able to interact with the world around you confidently, but you'll also be equipped with, this, equipped with the skills to make the world a better place with the power of words. And if you look here, we have a range of different work from students all over the years. As you can see, this is when they were studying uh, Shakespeare from Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth. A very interesting story, if I do say so myself, also Othello. And here we can see a real analysis of quotes, uh, essays, um, how dedicated these students have been towards their work and towards the craft that they've put in during the English lessons. Uh, I think this might be year nine, year 10, the more highly GCSE uh, work. And over here, we have, we have a Christmas carol by Charles Dickens. And um, I believe this is also, was this year 10? Yeah, year this, or year nine. Yes, yeah, probably, I, think, I suppose it is year nine work because we do learn about Christmas carol in year nine. And we just have um, interesting quotes here and analysis of quotes and how to structure paragraphs. Um, yeah. Uh, and finally, we have Lord of the Flies. I'm not sure what year learned Lord of the Flies. It was a very long time ago for me. Year eight, maybe. Yeah. So here we can have a real analysis of different characters uh, Piggy, Simon, Jack, Ralph, uh, and the symbolic figures. And here we can tell that the students have heavily focused on symbolism during the reading of this book. And you can just see throughout the, the hard work that all these students have put in. And here are some key themes during the book, Law and Order, Good and Evil, uh, Crowd Mentality and Cold War Paranoia. I'm sure if you do decide to come to this school that you will learn all about this in much more depth and in detail. Um, if you'd like to follow me down, I'll have a look at the core values, which are very important here at Beck Keys Academy. Being unusually brave, discovering what's possible, pushing the limits, and always being big-hearted. They are the four things that we value in this school as students and as teachers. Um, being big-hearted, you will be exposed to the, the triumph and struggles of people around the world. Uh, in English, for example, when we're doing an inspector calls. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think we will get a chance to speak to Mr. Hill today. But um, if you're lucky enough, we might catch him another time. Uh, so now we'll be handing over to the Year 10 team. Hello, everyone. We are Year 10 students in English. I'm Lynn Carr in the CA School. We're about to walk you guys through the humanities um, tour, where all history, geography, and um, MFL lessons take place. So now we're going to visit the penal stars. Hello, Miss. May we ask you some questions, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. If you want this. Okay, I want to bring a few Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm Mrs. Pina. I am a job of teacher. Hello, okay. nice to meet you all. And what year are you uh, teaching right now? Year 11, year 11 job of Do you teach any other years? Um, I teach, yeah, the four. I teach Key Stage 3. I currently teach in the new year 7s, which is lovely. And I'm also teaching years 10, 11 and 6th form as well. So I get to see um, the full range of students, which is great. How do you say the year 7s? Oh, the year 7s are a loving geography, really enthusiastic. They're doing so many different types of tasks at the moment, just so we can get to see what kinds of learning styles the year 7s have got. Um, lots of interactions between each other, um, do lots of different um, hands on tasks. At the moment, we're doing some map skills based tasks. So the students love getting the big maps out, having a look at where we live, um, and having a look at the different skills that we can use to read the maps, which is fantastic. Really enjoying it. How do you say students progress as they learn geography? 
Um, so students progress um, really well. So when they obviously begin in year seven, we start building up some core skills that they need to access the rest of the curriculum. Um, so we start off with some basic skills like um, using maps, using graphs, um, and then we integrate that into lots of interesting topics um, throughout Key Stage 3. Um, so we look at things like um, plate tectonics, earthquakes and volcanoes. Um, we look at how people live. We look at cities and how they grow. Um, and look at things like climate change. So things that are really sort of interesting and they're really current, they're in the news at the moment. Um, and then that we build on that in Key Stage 4. And then if they choose to take that through to A-Lib as well, we build on those as well. Like Mark, you might ask one of your students questions. Absolutely, please do. Here is the bit. Hello, how are you living students? Hello. So, how are you finding geography right now? Um, right now, I'm loving it. I've been doing it since you've taken a look at the GCSE. Um, we've been studying a range of different topics over the past two years. Um, yeah, I love it. Right. How would you say uh, it's different from style of year seven? Um, it's different because we go into more depth about case studies and we look more about the chain of food, the food chain, we learn about food chains, we learn about rivers, we go into more depth than we were in year seven and we go out and do, um, what I call it, field trips, we go out and do field trips because that's our GCSE, that's our phase of three and we learn about the example. So, have you gone to any trips yet? Not yet, but we should be going to a beach, I think. I don't know. Yeah, a beach. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, of course I am. That's cool. Go for that. Thank you. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Right now we're going to move on to the stream. Oh, I'm going to go the double card. So we've got loads of classrooms in the humanities floor. Loads of subjects, loads of topics to be learning about. And amazing teachers yeah. teaching us these amazing subjects. Um, this is Hello, good sir. Afternoon, sir. Hello, good afternoon, indeed. Good Great you interview. I, I'm ready as the day I was born. Okay, so yeah, my class are currently doing an uh, assessment. So we've been oh. studying the Cold War, uh, superpower relations. 1941 to 1991. At this precise moment, they are answering a mock-style paper in GCSE conditions. So that's pretty much what, what they're doing. How are they all finding it? Well, I'm sure they're smashing it, yes. Uh, they're loving being in exam conditions of being filmed at this moment. Look at everyone's faces, they look like. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're finding it. Uh, they've been well prepared. They've been well prepared. What your favourite topic to teach you? This is actually my favourite topic. The Cold War. I find it fascinating. Um, the events happened within my own lifetime. Oh. So the Berlin Wall fell down when I was five years old. I remember watching the news. It was on my fifth birthday. So yeah, I think the students enjoy the closeness of that as well. The curriculum is very interesting. Just, just, just uh, miss. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, um, the curriculum is diverse. We study early Elizabethan England. Um, we study Germany. Between 1919 and 1939, the Cold War 1941 to 1991, and um, medicine through time. But this year group, because they're off about more condensed curriculum, but when everything is completely back to normal, they'll study medicine through time and surgery in the trenches, World War One, which is very, very interesting indeed. It's usually our students' favourite topic, actually. Medicine. Okay. So we're finding it interesting. Yeah? Loving it, loving it. We love history at BA. Yeah. We leave history at BA. Would you say history is an important topic? I'd say it's one of the most important topics you can ever study. It gives you a great sense of identity, as you know your place in the world and your place as a local citizen of Bexley Heath as well. We do that at Key Stage 3. So we, we've got a local aspect of history which you can study. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, lovely. Thank you. Now we're moving on to the other department, Mr. Yes, Miss Delva is head of yes. MFA. Yes. So I should take the range of languages slightly in French, I think German as well. Thank you. So here are all of our classes. Hi. Some English teachers. Um, I think we've got into that video. I think she's teaching in year seven or yeah. oh, no, I think it's year 11. 
And And another in your eleven class. Hello, Miss. Hello, how are you, sir? Could we interview you in your class? Yeah. Yes, Miss. What subject are you teaching right now? So, we yeah, are teaching French, although I'm not currently teaching. They are doing their reply assessment. That's mm -hmm. why it's so quiet. Generally, we are much more loud than this. Yeah? Would you say uh, French is an important topic? Absolutely. I think um, it's important to learn a new language. It opens doors, and sometimes you don't realize it, but you think, oh, why well, should I learn a language? And in fact, it opens so many doors for your life in the future. And to be fair, most of the time when I speak to adults who don't speak another language, you do tell me, oh, I regret not having learned a language when I was younger. So you know, I don't want to have these regrets as I suppose that you learned a language. Are your students enjoying it? I think so. I love what you say, Year 11s. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. And it even said it in French, see? <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. And as you've seen, those are all the lessons that we teach in this book, history, geography, and Spanish. And as you all know, all of these teachers do love these subjects and the students as well. So we've got a very long name for the humanities. Um, long choice to pick um, We'll be passing on to the year 11s, and then the year 7s, actually. So we'll move on to them. We'll see you guys in Yes. Hello Year 6, this is the 6th form block, uh, this is where the Year 12 and 13 is common room is and this is where they'll come to study. Okay, let's come and see what their common room looks like. I wonder who's here. Okay, so this is the common room area for Year 12 and Year 13 and so the ones that have got free and study periods is where they will be here, um, studying, catching with their assignments and so on and so forth. Oh my goodness, yes, six, I have a treat for you. I've just seen one of the head students. Um, let's take the camera over to Eve. Hi, Evie. Hello. Right, so we're just having a talk at school with um, year six and their families. Oh, Any yes. wise words to share with them? Well, I've been here since year seven, and I'll just say that the school has really improved. And just remember to revise, do your homework. And if you need any help, you've always got us to help you and guide you and ensure the older pupils will help you if you get lost around the school. So yeah, I really enjoy it here. Thank you so much, Evie. Right. right, so let's go and see more of this building. Okay, so it might be a bit echoey, but this is the simple block, just like Alfie told you, we're going to go up the stairs because our key stage three and key stage four, they get to use this field as well for um, the other lesson. Careful. Okay, so it's a spiral stairway, and I don't know if the camera can pick up. As you go up, you have some amazing views. I can see Asda, the car park, I can even see the clock tower. Few steps. Amazing views. You, you're probably not able, not able to see, but I can see the clock tower all the way across. You can see goals as well. We're going to be finding out a bit more about goals when we go to PE. And you can see the rest of the score on our right hand side. And let's come over to Cameron. Right, Cameron? Yeah. Right, just take us through music. All right. For music, it's the same for art and maths. It has the school curriculum of be on YouTube, ready, discover what's possible, push the limits, and be big fun. Excellent. So here's the curriculum intent for music. And just like Cameron just told you, this is how that curriculum sits across our four core values. Let's go in and look at some music classrooms. Um, so guys, we're currently in the music hallway. So in this hallway, we have different instruments in different classes. So we're currently going to go to Mrs. Uh, Mr. Mr. Yates' class which is the room L3.3. Okay, so year sevens would have the music here. 
Um, how often do you have music? Um, uh, once a week. Yeah, every week. Exciting. Okay, so let's come in and then just scan the equipment. There are no music lessons taking place at the moment, so you just get to see the um, classroom. So have you had your music assessment? So um, no, yeah, I've not written mine um, to, um, tonight or not off school at school for my last period. So the first four? Yeah, it. in teaching. I've got it tonight. Okay. I have mine on Friday and I'm going to be playing um, Afro drums. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be playing a piece that I've been learning and based on that, the teachers are going to give me um, a great that I am at the music. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the music classrooms, like I mentioned. The other classroom is being used by the music department. They're, ha they're having their meeting at the moment, so we can't go in and disrupt them. I'm now going to be passing it over to Team Year 11, and I think they should be over at Drama, so they're going to showcase what our drama studio looks like. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, hello, everyone. We are now at Drama with the excellent head of department of drama, Ms. Draper. Uh, this talk about the, uh, the curriculum of drama from the 70s and 90s. Um, so in year 7 to 9, students do drama once a week, every week. Um, we alternate between different topics and different styles. So we try to do it each term. So that one term they'll look at script work, the next term they'll create their own drama performances. We're actually, I've got a year 8 class in there at the moment who are studying abstract drama and they are rehearsing for their assessment, which they are doing today. So they're about to perform to me today for their assessment. Um, and they're performing flashback scenes. We look at lots of different topics, um, things from bullying to abstract drama, to uh, pantomimes, to circus, to um, a, a different plays such as Blood Brothers, uh, lots of different things in years seven, eight, and nine. Um, lots of fun, lots of drama games as well. Um, and yeah, it's good, it's great, it's the best subject, it's the best subject. Thank you, Miss. Uh, we just have a quick five second pan of the drama room just to get a quick feel of what it's like. And um, while you have me, I might just speak a little bit more on what I plan to do when I leave BA. Now, Bexley Academy has actually given me the confidence to go out and find a, a performer in myself, and that's what I want to do. Uh, Bexley Academy, especially the drama department, have built me up to be a very strong performer, and that's what I want to do. I want to go to drama college and drama school, and I want to pursue my dream, and that's all because of Bexley Academy. And um, now I think I'm going to be passing over to the year 10s. Oh, she's can get ready. We can get somewhere quiet. Just to do the Keep talking, they haven't gone in yet. Keep talking. Oh, um, you got me for a couple more seconds. Um, all right, so I do GCSE, I do a BTEC performing art, which is between you and me, a fancy word for drama. Uh, so if your child does, uh, or if you decide to stay on, and pursue drama or performing arts during which is the part uh, I'll talk about it later. Handing over to your tens. So now we're in the play department with Mr. Shio, head of PA. That's you show yourself. Afternoon. Uh, we're gonna walk through all of the sports schools we've got. We've got the gymnastics room here. And so just gonna give us a little bit of a tour around the building. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so if you wanna turn the camera around for everybody to see. This is our gymnastics hall, so obviously this is exclusively used for gymnastics. This is normally for year eight classes, so in year seven in one of the other halls, we will teach these students the basic um, skills that they need, um, do partner work, and then obviously we come into this fantastic facility, and this is where we can do all our rotational work. Um, we try and get on to teaching them handsprings, dive forward rolls, all those kind of more complex skills. We also have this opened up one night a week as a club. So um, we have Caroline, who actually owns the company that owns a lot of the equipment in here. She'll help us out with a club for the students where they can come along and hone those skills and just improve on what we've taught them. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic facility. We are so pleased to have this sprung floor in the middle. As you can okay. see, it, it speaks for itself, really. Okay. 
we'll be moving on to the hall, which uh, gives several students to do the WOW, which is a weekly exercise that we do to increase the fitness of our students. Like her. It's going to get quite loud as well. Okay, so what you just witnessed in that hall, one, every student will get two P sessions a week. One of the P sessions we call the WOW Workout of the Week, and that is designed to work on students' fitness. So they'll get um, they'll get some science relating to what the WOW's about. So this group have been looking at the muscles in the upper body and what role they play in everyday life. We'll spend about 10 minutes talking to them about that with the idea that that gives them some background information if they go on to study school studies in the 10 and 11. And then as you can see, so they'll split into three groups. One group is doing skipping, one group is doing 10 burpees, one group is doing 10 air squats, and they move around. So basically the idea is in that they work, they have a minute to work, so they'll work for about 45 seconds with the skipping, have a 15 second rest, and then they've got a minute to do the 10 burpees. They'll repeat that rotation six times, as you can imagine. By the time they get to the 18th minute, if they're managing 10 air squats, they're doing very, very well, and then that changes every week. There's a different wow, and the wow is the same. There's different signs for year seven, year eight, and year nine. We found the students absolutely love it, although they will come home with aches and pains, and that's nothing to worry about as their fitness will increase over the course of the year. There's a simple lesson going on in the sports hall. So we do do PE in the sick form. They get one lesson a week. It's done as an option-based lesson. And this is the sick form playing bench ball today. Obviously, that's one of our biggest spaces. And we do a lot of our indoor sports. And moment there's the year seven class, the PE class taking place. We play netball and tennis on these courts as well as um, we do after school clubs as well. So um, netball takes um, netball club happens and we can also do tennis after school. And it's a great for our school to have this such ability. And if you have to follow me over here we actually have the, uh, the gate where the young students will come and leave every morning. Um, it is probably not as the gate, but as you can see right over there, there's goals where if you're lucky, you might be able to do P lessons. And um, also for sixth form and year 11 students, I know that's a while for you yet, but um, you have the turnstile where you can leave and enter the building after your intervention. But to draw your attention back to uh, this court, we also have basketball, uh, basketball lessons here. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to interrupt their lesson, they're very busy and immersed in their learning right now. But, but around us you can see uh, many playgrounds, we have different bubbles here due to the pandemic. So different here is pretty split up. And, but yeah, it's, uh, these tennis balls are very close to the main building and all the other buildings here at Bex Academy. If you look down here, uh, the year 11 bubble is in between the, the main building and the N and the T building. And down there you can see our very impressive field, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, there are many lunch tables that we can sit and eat our lunch at, whether it's from the canteen or if you're bringing your own food. Uh, there are benches and we also have our recycling bins 
uh, because the environment is very important here at Lexi Academy. Um, and here we have the lining up lines because uh, this is the year 11 bubble. These are the year 11 lines. Uh, we line up in these lines in alphabetical order on our surnames and we get ready when we go inside at the end of lunch. Um, uh, so as you can see, I hope that person can hear me, uh, we have a very long walk to the field, but it's worth it when you see it. Uh, let's see if we can make it there, if we do have the time, of course. Uh, but as you can see, here is the side of our building. The building is three storeys, if you know that already. Uh, as I talked about earlier, benches, stools, several uh, plenty uh, tables to sit at, eat your lunch, or if you don't have lunch, just sit and talk and relax during your break time and your lunch time. And I think we have some visits going on now, actually. Uh, and down here is where you make your way to the drama facility and the, uh, P, the main P facilities. Uh, we also have a seagull <laughs> joining us on our tour today. <laughs> um, the field, I'm not exactly sure how long the field is, but it's very big. That's all I know. <laughs> um, recycling. on his tour, but hand over. Uh, won't be next time, but now I'll be handing over to the Year 7s. Thank you so much, Tim Year 11. What an amazing um, tour of that sports um, courtyard. So well, well done. Tennis court, that's what I meant. The tennis court. Amazing. I hope you all caught a glimpse of the uh, um, as the gate. Right, so we're here in science and here is what the curriculum intent for science is. So we have a vision for a remarkable science curriculum where you would develop a curiosity about the universe and challenge yourself to ask questions that may solve problems currently unknown to us um, and our society. So that's what we aim for every single young person here at BA. Um, and then here's how that curriculum sits on our four core values. Okay, so in science, we're going to go to two classrooms. We're going to start with one of the classrooms, and then we've got our preparatory room to show you as well, because this is where all the preparatory, prepar preparatory, um, the preparations will take place. So let's go first into our first science classroom. They are in year 10. They don't have an assessment, so that's a good one for us. Hello, sir. Um, what I write here is our general example again it's not going to be a real element because we're doing algebra at the moment so imagine we have element one again you won't find that on your periodic table it's not real it's a standard this is an example if we started with a proton number of z how would i write the proton number here it would be z what, what do mean? z minus two brilliant with me how did you know that that's exactly right. Looking up here, you can see that we started with 27 and we went to 25. What's the difference between 27 and 25? Kieran? What's the difference between 27 and 25? Take away two. So if we started with Z here, how would I write that? Z minus two. Excellent. Okay, so that was a physics lesson. So it was a year 10 physics lesson. And we're going to go into the prep room. Right, students, if you wait outside, thank you. Right, so this is where all the preparation would take place for key stage four. So that's year 10 and year 11. And here's one of our science technicians. Hello, miss. Hello. We're just showing some parents and the year six students around the school. So as you can can see lots and lots and lots and lots of chemicals, equipment. It's a very busy room. And this is only one of them, okay? Thank you, miss. Right, so um, in science, we have um, three sciences a week. So they get to have chemistry, biology, and physics. Yep. Right? Have you had your assessment in science yet? Um, not, not yet. yet. I had my biology one today. Okay. Uh, well, um, one thing about that, we physics, chemistry and biology, we all do that at one 
uh, test. So today I've done chemistry, physics, and biology all in one. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, obviously, we've got our tours taking place as well. So we've got a tour at the moment. So we might pass them on the way. They're in the same class that we wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. So we just go to the science prep room number two. Hello. 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 We're actually filming for our oh, no. live tour. <laughs> so. Okay, so the corridors are very similar. We're back in the main building, by the way, and we are on the first floor. So it's called first floor, but it's the second layer up. We've got ground floor, first floor, and then humanity for the second floor. Oh. So here's our second preparatory room. Can we come on the camera, miss? Oh, you can see the girls are busy. Right, so they're cleaning. So this right here, it's called a warm bath, okay? So it regulates temperature. So if you're doing an experiment, it keeps the temperature constant. So very similar to the last room, but they've got more preparatory space. So this is where the year seven, the year eight, and the year nine science lessons are prepared. So in science, we've got two clubs running at the moment. We've got a dissecting club. Uh, last week, they were dissecting chicken wings. I believe this week they're dissecting the eyeballs, miss. Yeah. yeah. And the one I'm looking forward to is dissection of a plant. So dissecting a flower, miss. Yeah. No, that's next week. Is that next week? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, no, it's lungs. Oh, lungs. So amazing um, dissection um, attributes. And then on Fridays at lunchtime, we have uh, a chemistry club. And in the chemistry club, they get to make lotions, perfumes, oils, lip gloss. Uh, I think this week they're making a cold cream, from what I remember. Um, yeah, last week they are making bath bombs. So you can see the flyer for the dissecting club. But we don't dissect like whole animals, so we just dissect like body parts. Any anything to add about your science lessons, Alfie? Uh, there's lots of different things you can uh, try. The big, one of the first things you'll do is uh, you'll use a bunsen burner and you'll get something called a bunsen burner license. You will have to do the thing that the teacher says to get your bunsen burner license. If if you were to do it wrong, you you might have to try again or something like that. So yeah. And there's a bunch of burners, and you can you will be dissecting a kiwi as well. Oh, nice! Yeah, got to do this this week. And okay. Also, before all of that, you need to know the safety uh, safety rules, and your teachers um in the room that you'll be in um will tell you all the safety rules and everything. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go back and go to our second science classroom and see what's happening there. Um, okay. So I, I know that in year 12, so if you're passionate about biology, um, who mentioned the dissection of the kiwi? Okay, so if you're passionate about biology and you end up doing biology at A-level, you get to extract the DNA from a kiwi. So you've been more than dissecting, you've been looking at microscopic levels. Yeah, amazing. So out of the three sciences, um, Cameron, what's your favourite? Um, it's mine probably um, chemistry because you can learn about the physics and how the um, how particles uh, run through living things. Okay, I like that. Do you know that's why one of the reasons I like chemistry because chemistry literally brings biology and physics in the science. Yeah, so not only do you get to learn physical. Um, physical natures of substances you also get to learn about how those substances interact in the biological world i love it what's your favorite safi um my favorite is Three. biology because yeah. um, you get to learn different things um like because in primary school you wouldn't learn like as much so um in secondary school like the like teaching is like on an on the next level so you get to learn um, like hard things and things that you have never heard before. Okay. What are you doing in, um, so for example, what are you doing in chemistry at the moment? Chemistry, we're learning about um, particles and okay. like the arrangements of particles in gas, solid and liquid. And also, I 
Nem, what, what are you doing in biology? Um, in biology, we're learning um, on how to um, uh, basically like take um, a DNA from a kiwi and um, yeah, basically that. Oh, you've done that? You've done that experiment yeah, in year seven? Yeah, no way. That was, okay, really that's fun. really good. Yeah. Your body, you teachers are very, very adventurous. Yeah. So you're looking at DNA. Yeah. Love it. So not only are they just looking at cell structure, you actually went to DNA yeah. level. Yeah. Very impressive. One of the things that happened, you could actually, it went all clear. You could see through it. You could see the tiny, tiny pieces. Oh, I love that. Bit, DNA. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Wow. So they're looking at the nucleus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> identify one oxygen atom so we have got 16 but then i put that fifth that extra hydrogen at the end so we've got one okay so 20 equals our mass divided by our relative atomic mass victoria 14 plus 4 plus 16 plus 1 would give me a total of 35 Okay, 20 is still our number of moles. If we need to rearrange that equation, Sophie, what do we now do to find the mass? So 20 equals mass divided by 35. What do we need to both to do both sides of the equation? So we're dividing it by 35, but we want it on its own. We've got to do the opposite, so we are going to times it, multiply. Good. So we've got 20 multiplied by 35. Equal to mass, and therefore it gives me a final answer to of. Okay, so that was a year 10 chemistry class, and they were learning mole calculation. They've got the assessment coming up as well. Um, so it's actually a very challenging concept for most young people in chemistry. Um, as you can see, they were cracking on. Right, so um, in biology, you're doing cell structure by the sound of what you've described. So what are you doing in physics, Cameron? Um, I think in physics, we're also we're learning about, also learning about the, the uh, like, we're learning about particle, the particles. Different particles yeah. Okay, so atomic structure. Energies, yeah, um, but we're also learning about different types of energies. Okay. Um, so there's um, kinetic, elastic, um, Thermal and gravitational. Yeah. One, one way to, um, if you've ever heard of it, one way to remember kinetic is kinetic sand, which yeah. is made of, of kinetic sand. That's one thing that we got taught how well yeah. we were taught to remember it. You think of it as kinetic sand, because it's moving. Kinetic means moving. It's I like that. Moving, and there's a kinetic can also be transferred into thermal heat because of, of the, all of the movement. It can create heat. Okay, so we're going to go off to the library, and then I think the year 11s yeah, and the year 10s are all waiting to show. Just before time, as you can see, uh, we have a wide range of many meals. Uh, we've got yeah, sandwiches, we've got pizza, 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 we've got amongst the younger students, along with pizza, and even more brownies, muffins, and uh, fruit, pineapple, melon, grapes, jelly, if you're lucky. And if you have a look back there, you can see the refrigerated drink items. Uh, all the students really do love the food. It's great to have that option, close, so close to uh, just walk in and use a card and a scanner. Very good, very easy, and uh, Wrap up. the students as well. Um, Lovely canteen, lovely food. We all love it. Uh, anyway. The dinner lady is also very nice as well. So it's good to know. Different diets. Different diets. Talk about different diets. Uh, they also have, we cater to all diets here, and every lunchtime, all students have a range of different cuisines um, to experience. Uh, for and that is one of our canteens. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching our tour today. Um, it's been a delight. To, it's been a delight to show you around our school and show you the 
true delights that Basic Academy has to offer. I hope you all recommend that. I hope you all take in the VA and take it in as a future school for the trial. Yeah, we hope to see you guys soon.